Hi, in this video we'll be seeing about how to set up uh, time attendance in um, IOMS 4200 AC so I have opened the software to the bottom right you see an option called time attendance wizard I'll click on that so this explains how um, the workflow should be so initially you will be adding the device the person and timetable then the shift then shift schedule then attendance handling and report so in between there's one more step which I'll be uh, telling you as we go through uh, so let's start I'll click on device I'll click on online device and I'll select this device and I'll click on add I'll give a device name my device I'll put the username and I'll put the password. Please make to sure. Um, please make to select. Make sure to select this synchronize time check button and click on add. The device is online. I'll close this. Now we'll add the persons. So here you see something called the new organization. Here you can edit and type your company name in my case I'll type my company name I wish and technology I'll and then I'll click on add this add I'll add a user and I'll type a name for him and I'll click on add so here um, this is one way of adding the employees there is one more way uh, in case if you want to add a bulk of employees so you can just fill an excel sheet and then you can import it so to the for the template you have to export the template first I'll click on export and then I'll click on export again and it will save in the CSV file I have already created one now uh, CSV uh, file it was generated from the software and uh, I have added some couple of names so here you have the employee ID the company followed by their sub organization and here we have the list of names the gender tell an email or optional we have effective date and time and then we have effective time expiry time and then we have uh, the list of card numbers I'll just import it I'll click on import I'll click on this and I'll click on personal file and I'll click on import so 13 people are imported in case if there is any issues you will get the error over here so as you can see already um, the sub organizations organizations are created over here let me enroll myself I'll click select the employee click on edit and I'll click on fingerprint make sure to select remote and then select the device and click on start place your finger on the device you have to place your finger one place your finger again two and you see a green uh, fingerprint over here that means the fingerprint is recorded successfully I'll click on add and I'll click on OK so the fingerprint is added but it's not yet activated if I press on the device it again. still says please authenticate so there's one step in between which needs to be done that is assigning the device configuring the device so that my fingerprint will work I'll select this one I'll go to access control wizard and I'll click on access group I'll click on add and I'll put access group any name and I'll select the employee and then I'll select the device so this user has access to this device 
and I'll click on save and then I'll click on apply to all devices the fingerprint is applied it's saved on the device fully now and I should be able to punch you can see over here when as I punch thank you door unlocked so my fingerprint is working on this device now now we have completed device and then we have completed uh, in time attend we have completed device and then we have completed person and we have to fill in these details but before that uh, there's one more settings which needs to be done so if you click on home page there is an option called time attendance here in the general rule you have to fix set the uh, weekly updates so in my case it's friday is weekly off saturday and sunday are working i click on save and it's saved so now let's come back to the wizard so i click on timetable and then here you can create n number of timetable i'll put Oh, week day there are two options in calculated by one is first in and last out which is like the first punch will be considered in and last punch will be considered out and then we have the second option each check in and check out so uh, this is like function keys you just have to select the function key like check in or check out and then you have to mark your attendance so in our case I will select first in and last out I'll enable TND status. I'll uh, enter the start working time. It's from 8 till 17, and then I'll put a valid check in time. That means it's just a buffer time before and after 8. So I'll put 7.30 and I'll put in buffer as. 8.30 so employees can punch between 7.30 and 8.30 and then we have valid checkout time which will be uh, 16.30 to 17.30 you can customize this as much uh, you want if you want you can put uh, 7 o'clock also over here it's up to you and we have this calculated as which is the duration between end work time and start work time in minutes this is 9 hours and in minutes is 9 hours into 60 minutes which is 540 minutes and we have this late allowable and early leave allowable so late allowable means like uh, here we have set as 10 minutes that means an employees can come 10 minutes late and still he will be considered as not late whereas if he comes at 8 11 he will be marked as 11 minutes late so the same applies for early leave allowable also in this case he can leave the office uh, anytime after 4.50 pm and he won't be marked as early leave if he leaves like at uh, 4.49 pm he will be marked as 11 minutes early I will just click on save and I will create one more timetable with a different color select start work time is from 8 till 12 and we have from 7.30 till 8.30 and then we have from 11.30 till 12.30 the duration is 4 hours in minutes is 240 minutes and I'll click on save I'll just edit the name and then I'll click on add I'll select uh, color I'll enable this one and this is going to be for showroom which is from 9.30 am to 9.30 pm I'll select I'll enter the uh, 
valid second time which will be 9 till 10 and we have this valid checkout time which will be 9 till 10 so here we have break in between for 3 hours I'll click on settings and I'll select this and I'll put mid the break and I'll put from 1.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. I'll put some buffer also and I'll put the break duration as 180 minutes and we have two options auto direct and must check auto direct means automatically 180 minutes will be subtracted must check means you will have to use the function keys you have to enable that in initially I will click on save and I will just type a name I will just click on save and an error I'll just type 22 and I'll click on save that's good so when you make errors you can see uh, the notifications also which is a good advantage and uh, I'll create one more shift a test shift which is for night I'll just select a thing and I'll select uh, enable night T and the status and I'll put a night shift I'll put valid second time 21 till 22 and then I'll put 6 till 7 and and then I'll click on save it's saved I'll just put this as night shift and save so we have various shifts see here in showroom it's stick the break is stick whereas in other shift it's not tick that means it's not applicable the break is not applicable now I'll uh, click on uh, shift so here I'll put head office shift and I'll clear the existing one so head office is the shift is uh, HO weekday shift weekday timetable from Sunday till Thursday Friday is weekly off and on Saturday it's going to be a half day which will be HO weekend shift and I'll click on assign and I'll select the list of staffs you can select from date and to date and you can just save so the shift is applied I'll just click on save it's save then we have showroom shift which will be working all six days the same shift Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday I'll click on save and I'll assign it to the list of employees and I'll click on save save then we also can assign night shift I'll select night shift and then you can assign I'll click on save I'll click on assign and then I'll select the users in test and I'll click on save so next is shift schedule 
so here you can see the list of uh, shifts which are assigned to the people so I'll select a staff in uh, head office here you can see that uh, on all days on Sunday to Thursday it's from 8 to 5 p.m. and Friday is not working day and Saturdays is from 8 to 12 I'll show one staff from the showroom on all working on all days except Friday they are working from 9.30 till 9.30 p.m. and then we have this test user over here who works under the night shift twenty one thirty to six thirty so this is how we uh, uh, assign the shift to the employees and then we have attendance handling where you can do manual entries like correct check in and or check out so in case if an employee forgets to do check in or check out you can uh, rectify it over here I'll just put uh, I'll just uh, select one staff and I'll put select the date and I'll put a check in time as ten and check out time as put it as twenty two and I'll click on save. So it's saved. You can see a mark over here which is just to notify that it's manual entry and also we can apply for leaves also I'll select on more staff and I'll click on apply for leaves slash business trip you can select the date and I'll select the type of leave and you can enter the time so leave in case it will be a full day leave it'll be on full day leave most probably so I'll put 23.59 and I'll click on save so it's a sick leave so in attendance statistics you can see the original records if you click on search you can see the punch which I made on the device and you have to calculate if you click on calculate you can select from date and to date and then you can select the list of people I'll select everyone and I'll click on calculate so the attendance is calculated so now I can generate the reports I'll click on daily and I'll click select the list of employees and I'll click report so you here you should be able to see the punches so here you can see like we had made manual entry for this staff from 10 to 22 and then we have one staff who is on leave which is marked as LV so you can see it over here and here we have uh, one more staff uh, me who I have punched on the at 7.44 however it it's not at the time which we prescribe it is far away from the time so I am supposed to check in maximum by check out maximum by 12.30 but here I have checked out at 7.44 pm that's why we are not able to see in the checkout or check in now I will click on close so that's it hope the video was useful thanks for watching